What makes books like The Shining and Misery so terrifying? It's their claustrophobic atmosphere, the manic intensity of their antagonists, and subtle hints promising the tension between characters will explode into violent mayhem. Here's Johnny! Stephen King is a master of suspense, keeping the reader on the edge of their seats with novels that start off as psychological dramas and culminate in sheer horror. I've often wondered where he got his ideas and had to look no further than his 2014 ranking of his top 10 books. Among these are the to-be-expected Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain and Bleak House by Charles Dickens, but I was most interested to see his favourite horror novel. McTeague, by Frank Norris, tells the story of a deranged dentist on a killing spree. It begins, like many of Stephen King's novels, in a fairly innocuous setting. McTeague, having come from a poor miner's family, tries to better himself by opening a dentist's shop. His best friend is courting a woman called Trina, but doesn't really love her. The novel appears to be a romance, when she books an appointment, and McTeague falls in love with her at first sight. It is here that Norris hints at darker things to come. Trina, while unconscious to have her teeth removed, gets molested by the infatuated dentist. This reminds me of The Shining, when it's revealed that Jack has broken his son's arm in anger, or Carrie, when the appearance of a high school novel is broken by a mother's abuse. Both Norris and King invert our expectations, which makes the horror all the more unsettling for having arisen out of a familiar setting. The novel proceeds as was to be expected. McTeague gets on with his dentistry, and appears to be a normal man, with a singular lapse of morals, just as Jack does with his book in The Shining. We are aware, however, that both characters have the potential for evil. This is what keeps the reader interested in mundane activities, such as fixing teeth or looking after the Overlook Hotel. It is like watching skaters on ice about to crack. Trina finds herself drawn to McTeague's imposing nature, and the couple begin courting. Matters are complicated when they become engaged, and Trina wins a lottery. It is this money that brings out the evil in the characters. The 1924 film adaptation was called Greed for this reason, and sections of it can be seen in this video. Trina's cousin is the first to fall, and though previously the best friend of McTeague, attempts to kill him out of jealousy. Further conflicts ensue, and McTeague, despite trying to cool the situation, is driven to break her cousin's arm. Marcus takes revenge by informing the authorities that McTeague is practicing dentistry without a license, and his practice gets closed down. Unemployment causes Trina to become anxious about money. She withdraws her winnings from the store where it was invested, and begins to obsessively count it. She refuses to share anything with McTeague, which causes their relationship to deteriorate and for them to separate. McTeague eventually returns, destitute, and begs for money. When she refuses to even give him enough for food, he beats her to death and steals everything. Marcus goes out for revenge, having lost both his cousin and his fortune, while McTeague goes into hiding. This results in a cat-and-mouse chase between the two men, and culminates in a bloody struggle. The book ends with one of the most iconic scenes in horror fiction. One of the men dead, and handcuffed to the other, in the middle of the desert, with no other person for miles. This is the moment Jack gets frozen to death. It is the moment Carrie gets pelted with blood and tears down the school. It is the climax of the novel and the payoff we get from enduring so much tension. I would strongly recommend McTeague for any fans of Stephen King. Not only is it a fascinating novel in its own right, but tells you so much about how King learned his craft. Though written in the 19th century, the prose is startlingly modern. And unlike many of King's predecessors, such as Poe and Lovecraft, whose focus was on action, McTeague is profoundly psychological. What made King such a revolution is his fleshed-out, believable characters. He broke the trend of keeping horror short and followed in Norris's footsteps, 
by making it convincing.